Hi, and welcome back to Brems to Puzzles. I'm back to the World Puzzle Federation 2016 Round 1. This is a consecutive clone Sudoku by Richard Stolk, and this is a 42-point puzzle. Um, consecutive clone? I think I've seen this before. Like, maybe not this puzzle, but this constraint. Um, and I may have solved one puzzle like this before, maybe a couple. Um, but it is definitely a weird one, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. Of course, there'll be a link below to this puzzle, as well well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. Um, let's get into the rules so we can get into it. Um, yeah, so how does it work? We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Then in each shaded region of the same shape, we've only got two shaded regions and they are the same shape. Then the digits in uh, placed in corresponding cell of the regions must be consecutive. So this digit and this digit must be consecutive. This digit and this digit must be consecutive. Very weird, not sure how this is gonna work. I'm gonna restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Now this is a 42 point puzzle. So this is only apparently slightly more difficult than the classic I did yesterday. We'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so what do we have? Let's start with some Sudoku, I suppose, maybe. So we can see that six is in one of those two. I wanna try and get some Sudoku into the into the clones if I can. Like, can I put one in any of those cells? Because I can't put one in any of those. Can I put one in any of those? It would mean I have to put two in one of those. Well, I can't put two there, but I could put two in one of those two, I think. So I could put one up here. Hmm. Do I just want to pick a cell and see what's possible? Is it nine? Because where do I put, wherever I put nine, eight has to go next to it. So if I put nine in any of these cells, eight would have to go next to it. So I can't put nine in either of those cells because eight would need to go into either of those cells and it can't. Similarly, I can't put nine in either of those cells because eight would need to go next to it. So nine is not in either of those or in any of, yeah, nine can't go in either of those. Sorry, nine can't go in either of those because eight would need to go there. Doesn't quite work the same way. Nine can't go there. Nine is in one of those three. It's not quite as powerful as I might hope. Okay. Well, let's do sixes. Six is in one of those two cells by Sudoku. If this is a six, which is this shape, this would have to be a five or a seven, and it can't be a five, it'd have to be a seven. Hmm. Am I just pencil marking everything and seeing what they could be? Like, what could these be? They can't be five, six, seven. So they could be one, two. They can't be three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. One, two, or nine is all they could be. They can't be three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. And that's both of these cells. See, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So they're one, two, nine. And that's these two cells. So if this was a one, these would need to be two. So this is actually a two, nine. There we go. Because if I put one in here, I'd need to put two in here and I can't. So nine means eight has to go in here. And the two needs to go with one or three and it can't be three. This is a one, eight pair. And the one means that this is the eight, this is the one, which means this is the nine and this is the two. Ha ha. I found something. What about these? Well, actually, no. Let's look at this triple now. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So these are only from one, six, and seven. The one and the six makes that the seven, and I can take seven out of those. So seven here means this has to be consecutive with seven. So it has to be six or eight, and it can't be six. So that's an eight. Great. Now, this is one or six. And the one makes this the six, this the one. Six means this is consecutive with six, so it's five or seven, and it can't be seven, so this is five. Right, that's the break-in I needed to find. Now, let's do this quadruple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, three, four, eight. Now, I can't put three there. I can't put four in either of those. So four is in one of those two, which means something consecutive with four has to be in one of those two, which means one of those two is five because it can't be three. Now this is one, three or eight. This can't be a one because that can't be a two. So there's no one here. Three would mean this would have to be two, which it can't be or four. 
and eight would mean this would have to be seven or nine, and it can't be. So this is three, and this is four, because I can't put seven or nine. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong cell. The two, five there was, no, nope, even the five was incorrect. Let's roll that back. One, three, four, eight is correct, but those cells are those cells. So let's try that again. Actually, let's, ooh. What is this cell? This cell, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, seven, or nine. So this has to be consecutive. I, I got my location mixed up. Which is going to be very easy to do. Maybe it's this cell then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. This one, one, six, seven, nine. One would make this two. Six would make this five, which it could be or seven, which it couldn't be. Seven would make it six. This can't be seven, because this can't be six or eight. And nine would make this eight. So this is only one or six, making this two or five. Okay, this is not quite as good, is it? This is one, three, four, eight. One would, this one still works. One here would make that two. This can't be one. Three would make this two or four. So it'd be four. Four here would make this three or five, and eight would make this seven or nine. And these are four, five, seven, and nine. So this also can't be two, so this can't be one. So one is in one of those two, which means this is the six, which means this is the five. What is this triple now? One, seven, nine. And there's a seven, nine looking at that. That's the one. I should have done more Sudoku. So this has to be consecutive with one, which means it's a two. This has to be consecutive with seven or nine, and it's not six. So it's eight, which allows that to be anything. But these are now three, five, and the five tells me that's the three and that's the five. So this has to be consecutive with three, so it's two or four. Yep, that seems correct. There's no five here anymore. So this has to be consecutive with seven or nine. So it's six or eight, and it's not eight. That's six, which means that that's seven, and there's no seven there. These are four, five, and nine. There's no nine there. There's no four or five there. That's the nine. So this is a four, five pair. So there's no eight in either of those because they're not consecutive with four, five. This is actually a three, four. And the three is telling me that's the four, that's the three. The four is not consecutive with four. That's the five, that's the four. This is very cool. So three, four comes out of there and there. This is a one, eight pair. So if this is a one, this would have to be a two. If this is an eight, this is a nine because it can't be a seven. Right, the eight is looking up, making this the one and this the eight, which means this is the nine. And now I think I'm down to Sudoku. So what's this pair? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, and nine. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, two, and seven. I'm down to Sudoku, yeah, uh, what? because these can go either way. I'm down to Sudoku. I may have missed some Sudoku, but that's what I'm working on now. So these are one, six, eight. There's a one and a six looking down, making that the eight, and this is a one, six. The one is looking down, making that the six and that the one. These, one, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. There's no five there. Uh, okay, and these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three means that's the four. Take the four out of those. Okay. So let's look at this row. Yeah, I can't put six in either of those. That's the six. So this is a pair. One, two, three, four, and eight. And the eight is looking up, making that the four and that the eight. I want a better Sudoku result than this. Assuming I haven't made a terrible blunder, which is very possible. 
One, two, three, four. These are five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're six in this column. I can't put it in any of those or any of those. This is a six. So these are, there's an eight in one of those two, and that eight says not there. That's eight, and this is five, seven, nine. These are two, three, seven, nine. This can't be three or nine, so it's two or seven, giving me a two, seven pair. So these are one, four. And the one is looking down, making that the four and that the one. The four makes that the two, which looks down, making that the three and that the two, which makes that the seven, that the two, that the seven. The seven takes seven out of there. The seven looks down, making that the nine, taking nine out of both of those. And this is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a three. So this is five or nine, giving me five, seven, nines everywhere. Okay. One in this column now can't be in any of those or there. So that's the one. This is a bad six pencil mark because I've already got it. This row is missing five, seven, nine. Uh-oh. There's nine there. Five, seven, nines everywhere. Um, I've seen this trick before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, eight. There's a two and an eight here. So this becomes the three, and I can take three out of the others. And the eight makes that the two, that the eight. So up here, one, two, I need to put a three right there, and this becomes a seven, nine. One, two, three. For fives, these are five, seven, and nine. So I haven't put a two in here, which must go here. This becomes five, seven, nine, giving me a five, seven, nine triple, but the seven must be in one of those. There's no seven there. So this becomes the four, nine, five, nine, five. The five looks down, making that the seven and that the five. The seven looks up, making this the nine, which does seven in the box, taking seven out of both of those. So this becomes five, nine, seven. The seven looks down saying, that's not the seven, that's the seven. The five and the seven makes that the nine. And this is wrong. I've put two nines in some rows. Okay, when did I double up? Like, is this correct? Whoops, is this correct where I doubled up? Yes, it is. So I just made some Sudoku. The 579 makes this the four. And this is why I, whenever I go into what is often called beast mode, yeah, I've made a mistake here. Right, no, there was already a nine in this box. So when I pencil marked this box, I made a mistake. So let's redo it from here. One, everyone like says, oh, beast mode is awesome. I'm terrible at it. So one, two, three, four, five, seven is what goes in here. Yeah, the mistake I made was here. There's no four in any of those. That's the four. The five, seven looks up making this the nine, which means that this is the seven and this is the five, all within the same box. The seven looks across making that the nine and that the seven, which is still consecutive with the eight. That's fine. The nine looks down making this the five and this the nine. The five looks down making this the seven and this the five, all within the same box. Easy. The five looks across making that the seven, which makes that the five. And the nine looks across making that the four and that the nine. And that's what's correct. Yes, I liked this puzzle. That was a lot of fun. I thought this was going to be really tricky, but it was just a case of finding which of these dominoes was restricted. So looking, I think it was here and seeing that these couldn't be, what was it? They were very restricted down. They were, I think, one, two, nine, but I couldn't use one because two was not available and then it became two, nine, and then just finding where the pressure was. Very cool puzzle. What do you expect from Richard Stolk, one of the best setters in the world? Great, great stuff. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.